So when we got home, it was already dark out. I hadn't locked up New York City yet, and the skunks made it in. And then I locked the skunks in the chicken coop. Good morning, modern steaders. Brr, 34 degrees out is what the thermometer says. But I'll have to show you Gina's car after. It's got a frost on it. Oh. So in my book that's saying it's 32 degrees out. A little early for that. Here it is, middle of September. Did you hide your bucket on us? I think you did. Look at the nice bed they have made over there. <laughs> Now we can get their bucket out for later. Looks so weird seeing the milking room with a door on it. Wonder how much I wonder how much warmer it'll be in there today. Even though the window is open, it's a lot warmer in the milking room today. So much warmer in here, guys. You can feel the difference. <sighs> oh, I have to give you a little bit of your apple cider vinegar. A little cap full. There you go. A little dab will do you. We get comments every now and again about not washing Willow's udder down. We do. We use all natural baby wipes. I just don't show it every day. I wipe her udder down and her teats. And then I take the first two squirts of milk out of each teat onto the rag. Wipe it up and I throw that away. And then when we're done milking, I wipe her udder down again. All right, you ready Willow? That's chilly this morning, huh? I'm sorry. I'm glad we changed our minds and we insulated the milking room. Probably hasn't made a difference in audio yet. We still have to do a few things to fix that. But it's made it so much warmer already. When it's 20 below zero out, guys, we got a milk. Oh, it's gonna be nice. I don't plan on putting heat in the milking room. If anything, if we need a little bit of heat, I'll open up the door to the workshop. But we don't want the milking room to be warm. We don't want the goats coming in here to get milked or trim their hooks and have it like hot and warm for them. We want the goats to stay acclimated to the colder, cool weather. Because animals, as long as they stay acclimated to the cool weather, they're fine when it gets cold. The biggest thing for animals is they need a place to get in and out of the wind. It's gonna be nice for me to, to sleep up against an insulated wall that'll reflect their body heat back on them. That'll make a huge difference. Huh, Willow? Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we're in breeding season. The milk's getting lower. Don't try to eat the foam today. There you go. There's mama. Let's see if they go right out on pasture this morning. Come on and hope. You gonna go right out? Come on. We got the pasture all opened up for you. Nope. Right to the feeder. So weird having a door in the milking room. Still not used to it. Good morning, boys. We gotta work on your new fenced in area soon. Where's Caleb hiding? Is he sleeping in the corner? Mr. Caleb. Come on in, Zeke. Caleb. Look at that. That's ice. <sighs> it's too early, guys. Too, too early. I gotta run up this morning for my monthly chiropractor appointment. You won't even notice it. <laughs> Chicken time. You gotta wait at the gate. What the heck? It's making you learn patience, huh? 
I hear hope. Tanner, come on. Let's go. I guess I lied. A little bit of frost right here. Yeah, frost on the clover. Oh, chickens, we gotta figure out a coop for y'all. Wanna have the copper moran separate and have like a breeding stock for them so we can hatch out some of our own eggs. I wanna get some of our Easter egg layers in here and breed them with the black copper moran and see what kind of olive egg layers we can make with them. I heard moose crowing. I don't think the camera picked it up. He says, let me out. Morning, moose. You gonna give us a crow? Nothing. Everybody's afraid you're getting camera shy now, moose. We're gonna have to figure out the rotational grazing for the new pasture area. We'll see how the goats do with it this fall. I'm not gonna section it off right now because the grass isn't gonna last much longer. Come on, guys. Come on. I leave with the dogs and the goats are coming down now. Hey Willow, it's gonna be interesting to see how it all plays out now. With the new pasture, the dogs, the goats, and the chickens. We'll get into a routine here before you know it. So this time last year, we got skunks in New York City. <laughs> that was not a fun day, guys. <sighs> if you're new to the channel and you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link to it right here. I know what ended up happening is we go out with a group of friends and have a small group once a week. And this time of the year, it's starting to get lighter sooner. So when we got home, it was already dark out. I hadn't locked up New York City yet, and the skunks made it in. And then I locked the skunks in the chicken coop. So, this year, we are installing the world's first self-locking door kit. I want to thank Chicken God for sponsoring this part of today's video and sending us the combo kit we're getting we're installing the extreme weather one they told me that for our weather we need the extreme one this is a more strong it's a more powerful motor so in the colder weather it still works and we can get pretty chilly here guys so let's open the box hopefully the chickens leave us alone i am looking forward to not having to worry about skunks or any other predators getting in our chicken coop so the first thing we need to do is i want to measure the door 10 inches by 12 inches. We're gonna have to make our doorway smaller. So we are, yeah. We'll take it apart and we'll save all the parts and pieces, but we are 14 by 15. So we need to come over four inches, all right. So I'm gonna go grab some two by four material in our screw gun and we'll get this all taken apart We'll get it fitted for the new door. Uh, we better put this outside of the run. We don't need the chickens getting in it. Hey, Figaro. You always find us when we're working on a project. Doesn't matter. You know where to find us, huh? The inspector is on the case today. You ladies have this whole big pasture, and that's where you're going to hang out? Huh? What'd she do? She locked you in the milking room? All right, so we have our tools here. Phillips head. Grab the other size torque fit just in case. I need this stuff. Today's office is inside New York City. All right. No pooping on my tools or the wood. Got it? Oh, I'm glad I brought the smaller bit. Oh. 
bigger bit. All right, we'll keep that down so we don't get the screw in our foot. Must have that screwed in. Most of our animals around here hear construction all the time, so they're not phased by it. Oh, what you'd think they would be. to go Eleven and a half. I'm sorry am I intruding on your egg laying time says you are sorry here maybe I should open this door for you going to be the most time consuming part right there. All right. Let's get our mess picked up. Hey Willow. You girls are adventuring all the way over here. Cool. I like seeing it. They seem like happy goats. All right. Let's check out the directions. We got our door. It's got locks on it right here. It looks like when you pull it up, it unlocks. And then when it sits down, it locks. I like that how it locks, so that way, if it's down, a fox or somebody can't get their paw and try to push it up. A. Hey. So that's our track. That pot's super simple. So, okay, pull it up so we can lock it in place. Okay. I like 
that. And it'll stop like there. So in the extremely cold weather, if you pull this up, the hole lines up, you can put like a matchstick in there or a screw. And then that'll hold the pins in place. You don't gotta worry about the pins freezing shut. So we'll probably have to do that in the middle of winter for us. It makes a lot of sense. But this is our control box. We're gonna take everything out. All right, so let's tie the door back up. Set up wizard, that's where we want to start. Hit the menu button again. Set the time, time saved, continue, yes. Press up or down till the door is fully open. We're gonna press menu when it's fully open. menu press down till it's fully down all right so i want to make sure it's down and if this is all the way touching that'll lock it in place boom menu let's see what happens so it's going to automatically open now okay Yes. Okay, so now it says opening and closing settings. To open to the positions can below can be independently set. For example, you can have a timed opening, which I like, in the morning, and then use the light sensor to close at night. That's perfect. So press the up or down to choose your preferred option setting. Down seven. Setup wizard complete. So we'll come out tonight and we'll make sure the door is shutting at 7:30. That seems really easy, guys. And then we don't have to worry about skunks getting in the coop. I like it. What do you think of the door? <laughs> Seem to be using it just fine. <laughs> really, really super simple setup. No, they're not paying me to say that. They just asked if they could send me a door. I said, yes. This is gonna help protect our chickens from peddlers from the nights that I forget to come out and lock them up. Hey, we're making a video here. And even better, if it's a rainy, yucky day, and I don't feel good, this, excuse me, ma'am, ma'am. Shh, thank you. The days I don't feel good or it's rainy, it's yucky, this door's gonna automatically go up in the morning, let them out, they can get their feed, and well, like, they can get grass and grubs, and they can get their water, and then we'll be feeding them. So. This is gonna be great. I'm excited. We'll see how it works tonight, guys. The part that took the longest was retrofitting our doorway, making it smaller for the right size. But man, that worked perfect. I'm gonna put a link in the video description down below. Hey, chicken, for a chicken guard, and I'll have a promo code in the video description down below. Go check them out. And I wanted to thank Chicken Guard for sending this to us and helping us keep our chickens safer. We don't like losing them to predators, and we don't like skunks getting in our chicken coop. <laughs> the chicken who is molting their feathers, her feathers are coming back nicely. You can see them coming. Do you think it's a jungle gym? Yeah. Yeah? We're getting there. It's not all stacked yet, but yeah. we're making progress. Uh -huh. Working on the rock wall. Look at the sunflowers. I wonder if they'll butt out. Look at that, they're getting close. And then we have a bunch of transplant squashes that the uh, pigs grew. They got hit with the frost this morning. But there is some tiny, there's one little squash there. 
There's a big zucchini right here. Look at that. We didn't plant these. There's another big zucchini right there. Uh, another one there. That's funny. Another one there. Can mom go nope, that's from the chicken. That's from the goat turds. Oh. So the goats eat the sunflower seeds. Oh, yeah. oh, and then there's a cluster of sunflowers over here. Yep. Okay, it's really on the loose. I get it. Good boy, hey. stay right there. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. He's like, I'm off now. What are you doing, Willow? Tanner, you stay a distance. She'll headbutt you. Good boy. What are you doing, Willow? I ain't got nothing for you. Go ahead and throw the feed so Willow don't try to eat it on you. Do you feel like you're being followed by goats? I do. Okay. Here comes help. Little pig! <clears throat> Alright, how many eggs are you thinking? I'm thinking 17. 17. I say 16. Yesterday we got 18, but pretty much 17 because one thing. Little P is bringing up the pack. Oh. Like, I'm coming, I'm coming! Two. Hello, ducks. Four. Six. Eight. We were. Oh, you didn't see the door I installed today. No, I did not. We got an, we got an automatic chicken door. It's small. See the door? Yeah. yeah. It's really small. It is. It's automatic. But it works. Goes up with time and it closes at night when it gets dark. Really? Yep. Go, 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 go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have breakfast or supper. I'm going to try to make some French toast out of some leftover bottle bread I think we had gotten. And I'm also going to do scrambled eggs and we're going to have some sausage. So French toast doesn't come out then we'll just
That was some delicious French toast. Having it on our leftover Chobani bread was delicious, guys. Oh, I love having breakfast. I love having breakfast any time of the day, but mm, is it good for dinner? And it's even better knowing that the eggs come from New York City and that sausage is from last year's pig. So, oh man, so good. I didn't get out to show you the door locking up. I'm sorry. We've got a head cold. You can probably hear it right now, and I forgot. But hopefully I'll be over this snuffles and coldness soon. Olivia's got it too. You could hear it in her voice. I think she picked it up from school and decided to share it with all of us. Sharing is caring, right guys? <laughs> ah. But there's going to be a link in the video description down below with a discount code from Chicken Guard. I am excited for this. It's going to keep the predators out of our chicken coop. But we're, we're also going to be doing a bonus video tomorrow, guys. This Wednesday, I got a bonus video going live at 6 a.m. Took me all weekend to edit, but it came out great. I hope you guys enjoy it as much as we will. It's another video that we're gonna love looking back on in the future and seeing how far the homestead has come. If you guys are on your homesteading journey, I just wanna encourage you to keep going at it. If it's not where you want it to be yet, give it time. It may take years, but you'll get there. That's the journey we've been on. All this stuff that we're doing this year has taken five, 10 years worth of planning to get us where we are right now. So don't give up on your dream. Do one thing every day to better yourself, even if it's something as small as planning and you don't see it happening right away. Trust me, guys, you'll thank yourself down the road in five years. We're not where we wanna be yet, but man, I can't wait to look back in five or 10 years and to see how far we have come because that's the progress, guys. It's a journey, not a race. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You're a huge blessing to us in our homestead. Eat well, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.